Okay, so in the last one we learned how to use the waveform monitor. In this one we're going to use the vector scope, which is over there. Again, you have the red, magenta, the blue, cyan, green, and yellow. And we really want to focus on this, this line right here, which represents skin tone. If you don't have a good sort of white area to use with your eyedrop tool, then um, this is the next best thing for trying to approximate a skin tone. So we're going to put the playhead in an area that we think is pretty good where we can get a skin tone. And we're going to use two different effects with this. The first effect that we're going to use, of course, is the three-way color wheel or color corrector, same as in Final Cut Pro. The second thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the crop tool. Or, no, I take that back. We're going to use the garbage mat. Uh, let's use the four-point garbage mat. So I'm going to go back to my effect controls. I'm going to hide that three-way color correction filter for a second. And I'm going to focus on the garbage mat. Before I do that, we're actually going to have to switch back to output mode to the composite video. And I'm going to take the garbage mat. And here's a handy little trick. So like right here, you can manually set your keyframes and the different positions by sliding this way. Or if you tend to be a more visual person, you can click on this, this little indicator right here, and that will allow you to use your, your mouse to isolate where you want the skin tone. So we're going to get over here by his cheek. And you can see sort of pushing into the reds and into the yellows with that. So I'm isolating that skin tone. And now I'm going to go back to my output and select the vector scope. Now you can see if we look at the vector scope and we're analyzing just that one little area, it seems pretty good. It tends to be a little bit in the red. Uh, we might push it over a bit. And the way that we're going to do that is with the three-way color wheel. I'm going to drop that down. And by default, it's selected on the highlights. And what I like to do before I start is generally I'll push my shadows into the blue area. And then I'll take my midtones and my highlight, which is going to be the skin tones, and I'll push it into the yellow. And so that's what we'll do. We'll go to the midtones. I'm going to push it into the yellow just a touch. Go into the highlights. And as you're doing this, there should be some adjustments made. If you can see if I put that all the way, the midtones, for example, it should change some of the saturation. You can see it just really made that orange right over there. But of course, we don't want to do that. We're going to bring it more toward the center. And again, I'm trying to approximate where that line is. And I can go back to um, my, let's see, the garbage mat and take that off. And you can look, and you can see there's really, <clears throat> that's really making it pop out. I think it might be a little bit too orange right there, um, but you can sort of develop a style around that if you want. So I'm just going to back off on the yellow and orange. Let's again take a look at that, that garbage mat. It's looking a little bit better. So you can see sort of the before 
sort of washed out, and then the after. And it just gives it some depth when you when you mess around with these things. <laughs>